Welcome to the Iris Factory Automation webinar series. My name is Brittany Carroll and I am the channel partner manager and sales team lead at Iris Factory Automation. Um, I've been with Iris for two and a half years now um, and in a few different capacities on the sales team, I started as the inside sales engineer um, and then moved into this role as channel partner manager and then now um, most recently became the sales uh, team lead. So. Um, I'm excited to be doing this webinar series. So this is one of six um, webinar series, the second of the series um, on vision inspection. So they will be talking about vision inspection and traceability. Uh, so we'll go ahead and dive in. All right. So during today's presentation, uh, we're gonna discuss the basics of vision inspection and traceability. I'm going to share the difference between traditional and AI vision inspection and how vision inspection benefits manufacturers and the use cases in the different industries. Uh, we'll also finish the presentation with how uh, Iris tackles vision inspection and how our clients benefits benefit from our systems. And last, we're going to end with a question answer session with our engineering group manager, Chris Budney. Um, so during the presentation, feel free to drop, drop your uh, questions in the chat and then we will get back to those at the end. All right, so what is vision? Uh, so machine vision systems are going to feature optic lenses uh, that capture images of products that pass through an inspection line. So usually through an inspection tunnel or, or an area of the line that is doing the inspection. Uh, machine vision utilizes cameras that allow automated solutions to see parts, products, patterns, barcodes, and other objects um, and use that information really to make decisions at a very high speed, so way faster than the human eye. It's going to also um, make decisions and generate data. So this data is critical to the manufacturing plants. Um, they're looking for efficiency gain. So they want to be more efficient. They want to make sure that they are going to um, figure out the defects that are happening and solve those problems to be to have better product coming out of their lines. And then help manufacturing plants improve their processes, ensure the quality of their products, uh, reallocate labor. So obviously this is a pretty labor intensive task to have a person standing at a line looking at individual pieces or products or boxes. Um, so reallocating that labor to a, a better position, um, more fulfilling role and, and frankly a better um, role for the company than just sitting there staring at product all day. And then long-term cost savings. Uh, barcode verification and traceability. So two different types of uh, uses for barcode scanning. So barcode scanning systems in manufacturing um, are utilized, they utilize cameras or barcode scanners to access data or information about the products being scanned or the quality or readability of the printed products, um, components or packages. So barcode verification is gonna ensure that the barcodes are of high quality and can be scanned accurately. And this is gonna help prevent scanning errors and ensure smooth operations. Barcode traceability allows manufacturers to track products throughout their entire life cycle using, bar, um, using the barcodes. So uh, using unique barcodes rather. Um, and this helps quality control, improves efficiencies, ensures compliance. Um, so there's different uh, barcodes that have to be compliant for um, certain standards. And, and these are industry standards um, and regulations that keep tabs on where the products are and where they've been. So here's a flowchart um, that shows the difference between traditional and AI vision inspection. So traditional vision inspection has been around for a long time. Um, AI is, is more recent um, and the technology does have some fundamental differences. So um, this flowchart on traditional and AI vision inspection, specifically deep learning um, for AI, um, they, differ, they differ significantly in several key aspects. So I've broken this down in six key categories. So the first category is methodology and approach. 
So how are vision products projects tackled with these with each of these technologies? So vision traditional vision inspection relies on predefined rules, algorithms which are programmed by engineers. It typically involves techniques like thresholding, edge detection, template matching, and feature extraction to analyze these images and detect defects or, or anomalies. Where AI vision inspection is going to use deep learning models, and this will automatically learn features and patterns from data. Deep learning models are trained on large data sets and can extract complex features direct, directly from images without explicit programming rules. So it's going to keep learning as it goes. The second category is feature extraction. So this refers to the process of identifying isolate, isolating important characteristics or features from images or visual data. Traditional vision inspection requires manual or semi-manual um, extraction where engineers specify the characteristics or feature to detect in the images, where AI vision or deep learning automatically learns these features from the data during the training process. So when we're setting up the system during the training process, um, the deep learning models can discern or um, discern intricate patterns and features that may not easily be specified by a human engineer. The third category is flexibility and adaptability. Uh, traditional vision inspection um, is limited by specific rules or algorithms programmed into systems. So changes or adaptations may require some significant reprogramming. Where AI vision inspection is more flexible and adaptable to new tasks or variations in the inspection process. So once trained, deep learning models can gener generalize to new scenarios within their domain. The fourth category is performance and accuracy. Traditional vision inspection is effective for tasks for tasks with well-defined rules and features. However, it may struggle for complex or variable inspection criteria. Uh, where AI vision inspection can um, achieve high accuracy by learning from large data sets, often outperforming traditional methods. So in tasks involving complex patterns and or unstructured data. So the fifth category is training and maintenance. A training um, for traditional vision inspection requires expertise in image processing and algorithm design. So usually done by an engineer. Maintenance does involve updating algorithms manually as well. Where AI vision inspection requires large amounts of labeled data and training um, and expertise in deep learning models um, and kind of the fine tuning there. And maintenance involves retraining models periodically to adapt to changes in the production environment. And the last category um, is cost and implementation. So traditional vision inspection, initially the cost is gonna be um, a little more cost effective um, because it's usually for simpler tasks and it requires less um, power and data. Where AI vision inspection initially is gonna be more resource intensive due to the high need, due, due the need for computing power, large data sets, specialized expertise, um, but it does gonna, it is going to provide significant long-term benefits. So to recap, um, inspection relies on explicit programming of rules and algorithms um, in traditional vision. AI vision inspection uses deep learning and automates uh, features extraction and pattern recognition trained in large data sets. So this makes AI vision inspection more powerful for complex, complex tasks, um, but these cases for both, there's cases for both AI and traditional vision. In IRIS, we actually have some cases where we use both in a, in a particular application. So the benefits of machine inspection, um, vision inspection, uh, we have, I'm sorry, machine vision inspection technology has numerous uh, benefits. So. Number one benefit, trace, you can trace products in um, parts. So it enables accuracy for tracking and identifying parts throughout a production process. 
Um, number two, we're improving product quality. So detects defects and inconsistencies with high precision, ensuring only high quality products reach the market. Also, this will provide real-time feedback for uh, process adjustments, enhancing overall product consistency. Uh, number three, it's increasing productivity and equipment effectiveness. So it automates the inspection process, reducing manual labor and increasing throughput. So he, the human eye can only detect so much um, so quickly, where AI and traditional vision inspection or barcode scanners can do it at an extremely high rate. Cost savings. Um, so number four here is cost savings. Um, it identifies the defects early in the production cycle, helping to save costs associated with defective products. So long term, this is going to really help manufacturers um, put out good product and, and save on, on cost. Number five is ensure uh, compliance. So ensures adherence to regulatory standards and product specifications throughout consistent quality checks. So this will also provide comprehensive documentation for audits, trails, and compliance purposes. So different organizations and different um, uh, parts of manufacturing have different um, compliance that they have to stick, adhere to. So this is gonna help them. It's gonna combat labor shortages. So obviously in automation in general, Labor shortages is a big issue. Um, so automating inspection offloads repetitive and labor intensive, intensive uh, tasks. And this is gonna alleviate the strain on human resources, really, which allows labor to focus more on complex and value added activities. Uh, number seven here is improved processes. So we're gonna offer insights into process inefficiencies and bottlenecks throughout the, through the data analytics. So this will fa facilitate continuous improvement initiatives by identifying areas of optimization. And last, um, increased safety. So enhancing workplace safety by automating hazardous tasks. So sometimes inspection is in areas that maybe um, are could be at risk for, for a human. Um, so we're able to monitor those um, without having humans be exposed to risk. Um, so vision inspection is being widely used among all manufacturing industries. Iris works a lot in the food and beverage and fast moving consumer goods space, really doing primary, secondary and tertiary packaging inspection. However, there's a lot of other industries that use vision inspection in other ways. So food and beverage, uh, packaging and product, product inspection is pretty typical. Uh, pharmaceutical uh, inspection of pills and tablets or packaging as well. Consumer, consumer goods, cosmetic and personal care inspection, textile inspection. The automotive space, automotive space has been using vision inspection for a really long time um, on the, the uh, assembly lines. They're looking for quality control. Metal and machinery, metal fabrication and machining inspection is very common. And then aero, aerospace and defense. Um, component inspection and surface inspection is pretty common in those industries. So it's widely used across all of manufacturing. So now kind of talking about Iris factory automation and, and what we um, do for machine vision inspection. So a lot of people know Iris today as a palletizing company. And yes, we do a lot in robotic palletizing and, and custom automation, but we actually started as a vision inspection firm. So our president and founder, Rob Fell, he started Iris. Um, he ha is a career um, salesperson in the vision space. So before he started Iris, he worked for Keyens and he moved on to Omron before um, he started uh, Iris Factory Automation in 2013. Uh, today, about 40% of our business is still in vision inspection. So with over 10 years of vision experience, um, we're providing solutions to our clients. Uh, we have over a thousand cameras in the field across the United States, Canada, and Europe. Um, we're experts in both traditional and AI vision inspection. So I'm not an engineer, um, but we have a large group of engineers 
uh, that back us up here. So we have a full uh, robotics and vision team. Uh, we have a full HMI controls um, and programming team. We have a mechanical design team in-house. Uh, we build everything, program everything, and design everything in-house. Uh, so our, the balance of our team, we have a small commercial sales team, but the balance of our team is really, really smart engineers that are, are highly trained in uh, robotics and vision. And our systems harvest information about process with defects with defect classification tools, data collection, um, and that's all through our easy to use software interface. So all of our systems come with a nice 22 inch HMI screen that houses our software. Um, and our systems house harvest information to be kind of like fortune tellers for our clients. So um, we're looking for a specific type of defect or tre that's trending up. And that way um, we know what happens when XYZ is happening. And then our clients know how to fix that problem before it starts. So we really focus on collecting that data to um, do root cause analysis. So now I'm just gonna jump into what kind of our standard vision systems. Um, so the Overwatch system is a, um, is comes in a couple different form factors. So this can vary in size depending on the product mix. Um, and it will utilize either traditional or AI vision technology depending on what uh, the application is. So the really what we're doing is we're checking for packaging defects, wrinkles and in labels, ingredient inspection, missing labels, incorrect labels, or um, and really so this stuff doesn't get out to the customers. Um, so we're using AI vision inspection to detect, detect subtle label quality deviations. Um, so this really benefits our clients with quality control, uh, brand protection. They have the data and analytics to do that root cause analysis, and then ultimately cost savings. Barcode scanning. So this um, is a screenshot of one of our newer systems called the Guardian. Um, but we use barcode systems to check for incorrect or missing barcodes on packaging. Um, and this is really a small, easily deployed, low cost uh, barcode reading system. So it's gonna identify those inaccurate or missing barcodes. And it's it's something that's very quick to deploy and um, it's really gonna help with our, our clients with quality control, mainly brand protection. Um, and again, we're providing that analytics, uh, data and analytics, and ultimately you're gonna have cost savings. Filter vision system. So the filter vision system um, uses AI vision technology to inspect single serve coffee cups. So we do a lot of work in the single serve coffee space. Um, so what it's doing, it's it's finding contaminants getting into the single serve coffee cups. So this is gonna detect foreign objects. Um, it's also gonna detect if there's a proper weld of the filter before it gets to the coffee filler. Um, so this is going to help with quality control mainly. Um, again, with most vision systems, you're going to protect your brand by not getting bad product or product that has contaminants out to the public. Um, we're also providing a lot of data and analytics here so we can really find the root cause and um, stop the problems before they start and ultimately cost savings. And the last, um, solution that we are providing is the lid qualification system so this utilizes both ai and traditional uh, vision on the solution and it's looking for incorrect labels on lids uh, leaks in the lids lids coming off of the single serve coffee cups um, so it's really going to look again we're looking for the incorrect labels and then we're going to reject them um, we're going to check to make sure there's a fully weld lid, um, which we're doing with a cylinder and also a camera. This is going to really be mainly for quality control, uh, brand protection again, and then we're providing those analytics uh, to get to find the root cause of any of these issues and saving our customers money in the long run. So um, us being very specified on end of line packaging automation, a lot of our vision inspection is done um, on packaging. So secondary, tertiary packaging, even um, primary packaging, 
But what we also do is we integrate barcode traceability um, and vision into our uh, palletizing solutions or case packing solutions. So what you're seeing here, uh, what you're seeing here is in line, we're doing a barcode scan before it gets to the palletizer to determine if the correct label is on the box or if there's a label present um, before we're palletizing. So this barcode scan will, if, if it's not scanning a barcode or if it's an incorrect barcode, we can stop the robot alarm or we can do a reject, whichever the customer would prefer uh, before it gets onto a pallet to go out to a customer. So this is something we do quite often in line with our systems. So jumping into the date, uh, the software. So all of our systems, our vision systems come with a 22 inch HMI screen. Um, for So it's not a little tiny screen where you're trying to, to, to see what, what you're looking at. This is very obvious, very easy to interpret data um, that we're providing our clients. So. Um, it's going to show alarm trends, it's going to show historical images, sort, and it's sorted by defect or lane or time frame depending on what the uh, application is. It's going to show reject data uh, by classification. So this is really um, helpful for our clients to be able to go back and see exactly what those trends have been. So as you can see here, um, we have our analytics screen, our inspection screen, where you're seeing the actual real photos, um, diagnostic screen as well. So we're using real-time images, analytics, um, and the ability to adjust these settings throughout the HMI. So it's really easy to, to use for any level operator. You don't have to be a machine vision expert to be able to, to run our system or to interpret the data that we're providing. Um, our systems help our clients identify defects, trends, um, root to easily perform root cause analysis and to find the source of the issues. Um, this provides long-term cost savings and preventing bad products from reaching the market. So to, to recap, uh, really the presentation here. So Machine Vision is helping manufacturing plants with quality control, brand protection, labor reallocation, and, and ultimately providing cost savings. Um, Iris Factor Automation really provides our clients with a turnkey vision solution. So we work with you throughout the uh, project appraisal process to uh, identify the products that we're going to be inspecting and ensure that we're providing you with the correct solution. Um, our team's going to work with you throughout the process um, once we once you purchase the product, um, we're going to help you with the install, and it's going to be fully up and running. And your team will be trained before we leave your your uh, facility. Um, we're pro providing data collection and analytics, and then we have years of experience and knowledge um, in traditional AI and barcode scanning to really be the experts and help your your operation. And we're providing this all with an easy to use software interface. Um, so any level operator is able to um, engage with our system. So now that you know um, a little bit about the organization from the vision standpoint, uh, I want to at least share with you some of the other things that we do. So our equipment we build, we help, we help our clients with you know, labor reallocation, quality control, and process improvement. And that's really done with end-of-line packaging automation. So machine vision inspection, turnkey robotic palletizing, as well as custom automation and uh, robotic case packing. So all IRIS systems are going to come with that easy to use software interface. So all the palletizers have the same user experience. Um, and then your custom automation is going to have a very similar user experience as well. So a lot of our clients who have vision systems or palletizers or case packers, they have multiple different solutions and they are engaging with them in the same way. Um, and they're all and they all come fully turnkey. So we provide training, commissioning of all of our systems, and then also ongoing training and support. So our post-sale support program um, is run by our key account manager, Megan Rinkus. Um, so she is helping our clients with aftercare programs, spare parts, and remote service. Um, so we're doing this to make sure that our systems are running just as efficient as they were the day that we installed them. So this is really something that we feel strongly about. Uh, supporting our clients throughout the process um, 
from start to finish. And even when it's finished, we want to continue to be a, a good partner for you. All right, so now I'm going to open it up for questions. Um, so we have Chris Budney, who is our uh, engineering group manager. Chris has been with Iris since the beginning. He was employee number one. And Chris has worked uh, prior to even being with Iris, he worked for Keyence. And so he has a really strong um, inspection, vision inspection background. So I will um, look here at some questions that we might have in the chat and we'll open it up for Chris. All right, so first question, Chris, um, if you are able to unmute yourself, is what information do I need to provide to get started uh, with a vision project with IRIS? Yeah, so for getting started in any vision project, uh, some key details are gonna be, you know, what, what are you trying to achieve with any vision system? Is it primarily a quality system in terms of pass, fail, and rejection of uh, non-conforming product? Is it a track and trace uh, system where we're trying to collect as much data as possible? And once we kind of identify the style of vision, key information is, you know, rate of the products going through size of uh, the smallest feature that we're looking for. So for a barcode, that size of the barcode for quality inspections, it's the size of the smallest defect. Um, and the if the product is moving, what speed is the product moving at usually is enough to get us uh, going on any vision application. Great. Uh, next question is, what type of training is involved when implementing a vision system into a plant? Yeah, so uh, training a plant on a new vision system usually includes training multiple levels of users. Um, at, at a more basic training, level for you know operators are more of a viewing and understanding what is happening we typically will train operators and that's usually like a 30 to 45 minute training where it's navigation of a vision system here's where you look to see what's going on usually that's both in terms of vision and seeing what the the system is processing as well as how to view all of the data because a lot of times with our vision systems the data presentation is really the key to understand how, how do we want to proceed with the equipment is, do we take it down to do a PM? Do we um, fix what's causing defects and stuff like that? So understanding the data is really important kind of day to day at the machine. And then from there, we typically will train, you know, maintenance and engineering personnel as far as how to um, adjust certain settings on the vision that can allow for uh, changes in what's determined to be a pass fail um, and also change settings in terms of you know if a product changes how do we account for for changes in uh, presentation or stuff like that those trainings are usually a little bit more in depth ranging from two to eight hours typically um, but with all of iris vision systems we will provide uh, a full system user manual that kind of walks through all of that stuff as well and a package of one point lessons that really highlight in quick, succinct uh, manner all of the high level information that you need to operate a system. So that's how do I calibrate? Uh, how do I clean the system? If I want to adjust reject sensitivity, how do I change that? Uh, how do I view performance of the system? So kind of at a quick at a glance, you have a, a reference sheet in front of you at any system. And the, looks like the last question is, do your, do your systems require highly skilled engineers to run them? To operate on a daily basis, I'd say no. We really design our user interfaces to be very simple, easy to follow. Uh, like I said, when we're talking about that day-to-day -day training, uh, that usually is accomplished in 30 to 45 minutes to make them you know, really easy and intuitive to operate. Um, when talking about maintaining a vision system as far as uh, vision operation settings, determining pass fail, uh, the experience level can vary. Typically traditional machine vision systems where we're using you know, rule-based machine vision, those do require a more um, vision expert level uh, style of understanding and maintenance if you're expecting to make changes as far as what kind of inspections are we doing? What's good, what's bad? 
um, when you get more onto the deep learning AI vision, uh, a much less impact on that for sure, because with that, training is is as easy as saying you know this these hundred images are good these hundred images are bad and let me you know with the with the mouse mark each bad image of why it's bad which will and then it's you running through the training algorithm which uh, is typically already preset up it's just a matter of changing the inputs being the images uh, on something like that um, most of our systems we we do design even for rule based or um, deep learning vision will design an HMI that has all of the um, common settings that may need to be changed exposed in the HMI where you don't really need a true vision understanding to understand how tweaking those settings will affect your inspection. And those settings are uh, typically exposed to maintenance and engineering staff with an explanation of what you can expect by changing them so it doesn't require you know, it doesn't require you know any coding at the vision level typically to ma maintain or run one of our vision systems. Great. And does anybody else have any other questions? I see a few people still on here. Feel free to drop it in the chat. Don't think. And if that's all the questions, I appreciate everyone's time today. Um, and please feel free to reach out. If you scan that QR code on the screen, that'll take you to our website uh, where you can fill out an inquiry and uh, we would get back to you um, right away to talk about your vision project.